Welcome to UNews, broadcasted on the University Cable Network of Buena Vista University. In today's UNews, you will learn about problems in or out of the classroom, Halloween festivities and upcoming theater performance, and an outstanding achievement of a BV student. Keep watching for these campus stories and more. University seminar classes are a little different for the students of 2010. This year's seminar focuses on globalization, where each class studies a different aspect. The semester-long class is now worth four credit hours but includes a summer reading and a carbon footprint project during orientation. On October 15th, 75 students, faculty and staff volunteered over 150 hours of service. The afternoon's activities organized by Student Move and Impact were part of an alternative happy hour. The Buena Vista University students are giving back to the community by helping out at an after-school program called The Bridge. Here is more on that story. The Bridge is a program in Storm Lake run by Jay and Ann Dahlhauser, which provides a safe place for children to go after school. The Bridge was started because the Dahlhausers felt that there was a disconnect between the different ethnicities in Storm Lake. They had a vision to connect, support, and empower people through a program called The Bridge. Uh, the Bridge is a, is a place of connection. It's a, something that supports somebody that's trying to move from one place to another and to be empowered. So that's kind of the reason behind the name. Initially, the Dollhouser's dream was for the bridge to be a youth center, but since there is not yet a building to house the program, they are running the bridge out of their home. While the program is still in its initial stages, the Dollhousers believe that the community and volunteers have been a major factor in keeping the bridge running. BVU students are among those that volunteer at the bridge frequently. BVU students help the children with their homework, but they also do fun activities with the children, such as playing basketball, raking leaves, and carving pumpkins. The Dollhousers believe that BVU students serve as role models for these children. While interacting with the BVU students, the Dollhousers think this gives the children hope that they can also attend college someday. Ann Dollhouser feels that the bridge is about building relationships and being a place for love, hope, and comfort for the children that participate in the program. For You News, I'm Caitlin Croker. To learn more, contact Ann Dullhauser at dullhouse at bvu.edu. Lindsay Peoples, a junior at BV, participated in an internship with Levi Strauss and Company. In Hollywood, she had the opportunity to work with many celebrities but stayed professional and was even offered a position when she is done with college. Peoples is a graphic design and communications major interested in fashion design. She is currently keeping her options open and looking for an internship in New York City. Problems have arisen with the rides and safety bus program for students at Buena Vista University. Lately, it has been alleged that students have been disrespecting bus drivers as well as vandalizing the bus itself. On homecoming weekend, the director of campus security, Mark Kirkholm, Vice President of Student Services and Dean of Students, Dr. Keith Betts, and Director of Residence Life, Elizabeth Tinsley, all rode along the bus to watch for any problems that could have occurred. None were seen while they were present. Students need to be mindful and respectful when riding the bus or the rides for safety bus program may be in jeopardy. Coming up next, texting causes problems on campus. Over the past few years, many BVU professors have been seeing an increase in number of students that are caught sending text messages during class. Anna Maria Hel Elsden, professor of English, feels that texting in class is incredibly distracting both for the students sending the text and students around them. Elsden has, se has seen such an increase in texting over the past year that she plans to add a texting policy to her syllabus in for future years. 
She feels that many other professors will soon do the same. Because professors have less control of student phone behavior than a teacher in a public school, Elsden and others are unsure what to do to enforce any policies on phone usage in class. Keep an eye out for policy changes in regard to cell phones and texting in course syllabuses next year. BVU Theater Department has created a mysterious set for the fall 2010 play. The musical comedy Murders of 1940, Ashlyn Norris takes you backstage. David Walker, assistant professor of theater and coordinator of technical production and staging, and select BVU students have been working hard for the past five weeks on the set of the 2010 fall play. This comedic murder mystery performance required a well thought out design, which includes a rotating fireplace, a passageway hidden by a picture, a sliding bookcase, a closet, a set of French doors that lead outside, yep. and an archway that leads to the rest of the mansion. The set was specifically designed to be viewed from the center seating area of Anderson Auditorium, which will decrease the number of tickets available for each performance night. This allows audience members to view each entrance and exit through the secret doorways. Doors, you know, in which people constantly run in and out of without really knowing why and where they're going is kind of a stock in trade, uh, whether it be a movie farce or a, uh, a Broadway farce. Technical rehearsals will begin Friday to work out any difficulties cast members may face throughout the show. Cast members are expecting an insane tech rehearsal night on Friday due to the setup of the stage for this play. With the construction of the set finally finished, stage crew worked to bring out the image of a 1940s mansion owned by a wealthy individual. This was achieved by applying white molding to a set along with yellow paint color. Hair and makeup, props, costume, set, and design crews continue working to make the musical comedy murders of 1940 one of their best plays yet. For you News, I'm Ashlyn Norris. We will be looking forward to this theatrical performance starting November 3rd through the 6th at 8 p.m. in Anderson Auditorium. Storm Lake area children will be roaming around the Buena Vista University campus Saturday, October 30th, excited to be doing some pre-Halloween trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating will be taking place around the dorms on the 30th, starting at 6 p.m., so students on campus are encouraged to be on their best behavior. This event has taken place in the past and always proves to be fun for the area kids as well as the students of Buena Vista University campus. Canes Point in Storm Lake is hosting a premiere event for the Halloween this year. Spooky Point will be taking place until 10 p.m. on October 31st at the resort. The event features three attractions, Mr. Spooky's Haunted House, The Haunt, Crawl Through Maze, and Meet the Bones Family at the Haunted Light Lighthouse, as well as some kid Halloween fun, which includes a hayride, a kid's maze, scavenger hunt, trick-or-treating, and arts and activities deck, as well as other kid-friendly fun. Admission to the events are $8 for adults. $5 for children, and for kids three and under, it's free, and includes all-day access to the indoor water park and the use of Halloween attractions. Thank you for watching U News from the campus of Buena Vista University. To learn more about these stories, go to YouTube, YouTube backslash unewsnow.com and tune into U News next time for more campus happenings.